crazy, I work too much, but I'm lazy. <laughs> chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. And that's deflected off someone in front. They clear the zone. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And he gives it over to Saka. Taken by Shattenkirk. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick pass to Marner. Moves it over to Lindgren. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Grabbed in the open ice by Kent. Puck picked up by Zaka. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Here he is in close. Oh, it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Penalty fires, you really have to admire the effort of the penalty killing unit on that one as both teams are back to even strength. Well, when you get the nod to hit, it, hit the ice on a power play, you want to execute at least 20% of the time. Oh, save on the play! Whoa! Oh, that's Grant Larson, E.J. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Here's a short pass to Grizzly. And now he angles it across to Heinen. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he keeps that one out. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gets a glove on it to make the save. More than half the period left to play. We're still scoreless. Nice job tying up his opponent. Dumps it in. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And sends it just out of reach. Oh, he destroys him on the play. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Directed over to Brazil. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. An easy stop with the pad by Sam Sodov. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Puck possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Good stand up hit. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. Tries to get the puck to McAvoy. Grabs it in his own end. And that's off a stick. Tries to feed it over to Laupo. Handles the puck. Sends it in on the attack. Toronto's got it from behind the net. McCabe's got the puck in his own zone. Grabbed in the open ice by Tavares. And that's blocked in traffic. Grabbed along the board by Tavares. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. 
And now it's grabbed by McAvoy. Takes the feed. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lauko. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. And that's knocked away by Brazzo. Quick shot. That's gloved by Sam Sodov. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. More than half the frame has been played here. The game is still scoreless. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Riley's taking it from his own end. Great heads up play to poke it away at the offensive end. Here's a chance! Stops him cold! Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Moves it quickly over to Coyle. Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Samsonov! They've really got on their heels here now. He scores! Talk about staying with the play as he puts in his own rebound. This is a pounder goal if I ever scored one, but I love his ability to drive, and he gets the original shot off. This is imposing your will on the opponent, just blasting through everyone, getting your own rebound to get the goal. There was no contest who was going to win that puck battle, James. Even if he's not first to it, he's going to find a way to come out with it because he knows how to hound the puck, and he finds a way to turn it into offense and score. Boston's won the draw in the neutral zone. The Bruins pick up steam and are on the attack. Quick feed to Marchand. Oh, he denies them with the stick save as it goes off the shaft of the stick. Marchand's effective when he uses his zone ability to generate scoring. And guys, we've already seen him do that tonight. The Leafs start with the puck in their own end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Fires it into the offensive zone. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And they keep the pressure on. From the back of the cage with the puck. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. There's the whistle and here's the call. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do. And guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Boston's got it now. Moves it to Frederick. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Sends it in deep. The Leafs will play the puck from behind the net. Works it across to Tavares. Gains the zone through the middle. The Bruins have it now. And they get that puck down the ice. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Time running out with this man advantage. Here we go. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Can't generate opportunities on a power play when you spend the majority of it in your own zone and the fans certainly don't like it. Strong penalty killing execution as both sides are now back to even strength. Well, that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play now. Down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflating. The horn still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. The 
second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Samsonov's been the only reason that this game is close, James. I mean, they have been under siege. There's been shots coming from everywhere, and the defense in front of them aren't doing anything to clear rebounds. They need to shore this up if they want to get back in this game. He's the reason it's so close. Made the save on the play. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Matthews is out on the shift, and he'll be looking to use his zone ability to get his team back in this game, guys. Let's see if he can do it. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Into the attacking end. Great presence on the ice to knock that down. The Bruins have it against the wall. Puck scooped up by McAvoy. Oh, Scores! He puts it in on a second effort. Well, this goal will be in the video room tomorrow, James, because it's second effort, and you know that coaches love that. They call that a 50-50 puck battle, James. Well, not when he's on the ice. I know who was coming out with it. You knew who was coming out with it. The coach did. Everyone did. He comes out with it because he is relentless. He is tenacious. He uses his body to his advantage, and then he gets offensive production off of it and scores. Awesome play. Toronto's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. Knocked away with the stick by Brody. Great defensive effort with the strip. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And he takes the feed. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Quick pass to Domi. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Strong defensive effort. Made the stop on that play. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Bruins gain possession. Handles that one. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. From the right side and up the middle. Quick shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Back to the blue line. Score! needed to James you get to the playoffs you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player that's a nice start Toronto's come to life here in the second after that goal yeah there wasn't much to start the game James but halfway through the second they found their beat and their drumming as they found a way to get to the back of the net. Real good opportunity there, good shot selection as well. They haven't had many, but they were able to convert on that one. Takes the feed. Shot right in front. Stupendous blocker save by Swayman. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Puck grab by Geeky. And now he moves it quickly to Frederick. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. And that pass goes off a stick. Here's a chance. Comes up with a stop. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Boston's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. And they win the draw on their own end. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Here they come. Puts it on there. Oh, there's a great stop by Swayman. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. The Bruins move to the offensive zone. Ben Was lugging the puck. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Marchand. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Right in front with the shot. Oh, and he makes another save. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Reeves moves the puck. 
Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Looks to pass it to Labushkin. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Sent into the offensive zone. The Leafs have it now. Denies him in front. This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Past the halfway mark of this period, it's 2-1. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. He to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Picked up along the wall by Matthews. Taken by Martin. From the right side, they gain the zone. On the attack along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Riley. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Hammers the shot. Blocked in traffic. Right in the low slot. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Oh, there's a hit on the play. Grabs it behind the net. Along the wall to Brody. Here's another feed. And the D come up with it in their own end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Great four check by Saka. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Samsonov's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Bruins want to take this lead into the second intermission as they continue to put lots of pucks to the net. Boston's won the draw and they'll go to work. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this too. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. And the puck is dropped and we are underway here in the third. Thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Leafs need to change their mindset in the third period and kind of flip the switch to attack mentality. This game is still close, many thanks to their goaltender, but now they got to find a way to generate some offense. When you're trailing, you got to take some risk. You have to beat your defenders, and you got to find a way to get through the middle of the ice. And when you get the chance, you got to convert. and maybe even help the team put one past the goalie. Puck picked up by McAvoy. Oh, shit! Oh, yes! Right with the man advantage, and they make it click. This is the type of player that you want on your team. You want on your line, James. There's no question about it, because you know that if he's available, he's going to find a way to open up a lane for you. That's how good his hands are. The Bruins have gone up by two now here in the third, and boy, do they look good. Well, that's sending a message right to start the third period, isn't it, James? Listen, you're dictating the pace in all different areas of the ice. You come out in the third and you get another one. That's a great way to start third. Boston break out of their own end. Quick feed to McAvoy. And now it's grabbed by Van Riemsdyk. Moves it around along the half wall. Great hits up play with the stick by Riley. Samsonov's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it's a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, you got to toe the line. You can play with an edge, but you certainly can't play frustrated and take penalties consistently. That's the second of the period.
I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Samsonov's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night, and he recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. And he takes the dish. Gets the puck in deep. Boston's got the puck. The Bruins move it ahead. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Moves it to Marchand. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Matthews slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Kiki's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Sends a pass over. With possession along the wall. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Sends it over to Kiki. Big play inside the defensive zone. Comes up with the stop. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. And they win the draw here in their own end. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And loses possession after a solid hit. Marner's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Finding ways to get it done, James. That's what the PK unit does here, and they give their team life as they're still within reach of this game. And the save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Bruins continue to lead here in the third, listening to their coach's message. Lots of pucks on net. Toronto's got it in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Grizzlick. Dishes it to McAvoy. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Lilgren's got it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Bertuzzi. And that shot dies in traffic. Here's a short pass to Lilgren. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here's a howitzer at the net, and the long-range shot goes off target. He gets a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast, it can be hard, but it's got to hit the net. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Bruins are up 3-1. Toronto's won the faceoff. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Leafs will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Miss again, and you got to put pucks on net here. Come on. Well, when you're in a great day, scoring chance right in the inner slot, James. Yeah, you got to find the net, if not the back of it. And it's kicked away. There's the whistle, we'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Bruins have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Taken by Shattenkirk. Wotherspoon's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. Taken along the wall by Shattenkirk. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's the pass. Oh, and he keeps it here. Huge steal in his own end. Dumps the puck in. 
The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Wotherspoon's moving the puck through his own zone. Boston's on the attack. Leobushkin's got it in the defensive zone. Yarncrocks crossed the line and gained the zone. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Wotherspoon's been brought down and we're going to get a penalty here. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. And everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession with a penalty box for the home team. Another sense of urgency for this man advantage unit as they go back to work. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Gains the zone through center. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Moves it quickly over to Kemp. Handles the pass. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Leafs gain possession of the defensive zone. Moves the puck. The Leafs cross the line and gain the zone. Receives the pass. Puts the puck on net. There's a stop with the blocker by Swayman. Pucks it across the blue line. Poked away by Geeky. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puck sent over to Marner. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Tavares' penalty is about to expire. Quick feed to Marner. Stones him with the blocker. That'll do it for the man advantage. Phenomenal penalty kill performance on that one. Timing is so important in embracing the pressure of the... They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of a momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. This play does not happen without that beautiful pass, James. It's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck. And when you skate onto it, you have some speed. You can get that shot off the way you want, and he capitalizes perfectly. Boston's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. And the puck's booted away. Boston's got possession of the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Fires it on net and makes the save. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Slides it across to Bertuzzi. Takes it and looks ahead. Oh, what a stop on the play! Well, he's got an uncanny knack to find open space and drive to the net, James. It's because of his slippery hands. When he gets in, he typically finds the back of the net, but not this time. Goaltender read him all the way. Turned aside with the glove by Sansonov. Moves the puck over to Nylander. Forces the turnover. Slides it diagonally to Boquist. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. They've got the 3-0 series lead, and it's hard not to think that they're ready to go to Broom City next here, Cheryl. Yeah, sweep, sweep. And you know that everyone around them is going to be talking about it in terms of the fans, but I'll tell you, the staff will not be. Neither will the players within the room. They'll just be staying present, focused on the task at hand, is to win the game. And if they do, guess what? It'll be a sweep. She's Cheryl Pounder. I'm James Sabalski. The playoffs roll on in the next broadcast, and we know we will see you right then and there. Join us then. See ya.